Hi, fellow Artflow developers, partners, and friends. Welcome. I'm Robert Mao, founder and CEO of Artblock. Welcome to the first ever developer conference of Artblock. In this conference, ourselves and along with our partners, we bring together around 30 different talks, demos, and panel discussions, and even some training workshops. Uh, half of them are in English, and half of them in Chinese. For all those talks and workshops that are delivered by the art block itself, uh, we will deliver in both Chinese and English. And for the panel discussion, some of our guest speakers, they're going to deliver the talk on the preferred language. So that's why some of the uh, content in the Chinese track and some of the content in the English track are different. So we align the well for, uh, for different time zones. So if you're really interested in different tracks, you can actually work them together. There is no time difference. And there is no time conflict. And after the conference, all the videos and the PowerPoints and the slides or any kind of sample code will going to be uh, download become downloadable. Uh, so don't worry about it missing anything. Just enjoy the show. So the conference itself was uh, has two days, right? For the first days, we're mostly focused on the talks. Uh, so if you're interested in uh, what's going on, what what are the technology we have developed, uh, you can just come to the first day talk. And you don't need to have any background, any basic understanding of blockchain. We try to make everything, all those kind of talks, easy to understand even from the beginners. For the second day, uh, it's more about the demos from our partners uh, and also uh, the workshops. So for those workshops, they're mostly designed for the, de for the developers. So you're expecting to have some very fundamental programming skills, but not, you don't need the, you don't require the blockchain background and blockchain skills, but you do need to understand how to write program, how to code. So the workshops, uh, are usually a little bit longer, but it provides a hands-on uh, experience to help the developer get started to developing uh, blockchain applications with our block platform. Since year 2017, we started the exciting journey of the R block. So we starting by providing by written by um, we starting by providing a white paper. Of our block. We write this paper in December of year 2017. And uh, during that time, we also produced one of the movie uh, to, uh, based on the white paper. I believe anybody who are interested in block, uh, our block probably already saw that movie before, but let's just review it again. So just hold on a second. So let's start the movie. Blockchain technology is changing the world. Implementing blockchain technology will hugely impact our society in the future. There are, however, a series of hurdles to cross before it's accepted by mainstream consumers. After years of research and development, we have crossed the hurdles and finally solved the problems. Introducing ArcBlock the new generation of Blockchain 3.0. ArcBlock is designed for the Blockchain 3.0 age. We've done more than solve the fundamental problem facing blockchain technology today. We built a brand new infrastructures. ArcBlock's design can be used to connect different blockchain protocols and platform. Developers won't get locked in with one platform anymore. ArcBlock provides framework and tools that help consumers to use a decentralized app just like today's web and mobile apps. ArcBlock is designed to perform in cloud environment, which boosts performance and reduces the cost of blockchain. Our ultimate goal is to create a platform that offers user-friendly blockchain applications more for consumers, which in turn enables developers to focus more on the technology. 
Blockchain started almost 10 years ago with Bitcoin, then slowly evolved into 2.0 projects like Ethereum. ArcBlock represents the third generation of blockchain projects and will elevate computing platforms for blockchain to the next level. ArcBlock represents Blockchain 3.0, which will elevate computing platforms for blockchain to the next level. ArcBlock is born for Blockchain 3.0. It is an ecosystem for developing decentralized applications. The ecosystem will evolve on its own. We are just here to ignite a new revolution. All right. In the video of the year 2017, in the white paper, we first time ever um, proposed a few very important concepts. Some of the concepts at that time is not actually the mainstream, uh, and even probably um, not, not really accepted by many of those folks in the blockchain. So there's a few important concepts that we, we, we have proposed in that white paper. First of all is OCAP, that is Open Chain Access Protocol. The second is a blocklet. It's a new application architect and framework for building decentralized apps and blockchain apps. And also at the one by one mapping token, that is mapping our blocks token and together with Ethereum tokens. Those are the three important things that we have written in the white paper and we showed in the video. And by today, when the whole world has been developed and has learned a lot, uh, have learned a lot from the building blockchain applications, you know, found all those problems, experienced the failures and the success of the developing blockchains, and uh, all of us has improved our viewpoint of what blockchains is supposed to look like. When we look back today, of those visions that we produced in the white paper in the video, I'm so glad that most of the stuff that we thought, that we proposed, and that we visioned are actually pretty correct, right? Even we are surprised that we are correct. And the better, so in the past few years, when we executing our plan, when we build the platforms, even though we also meet different problems, we hit the, we, we fix, solve, solve those problems, we hit different difficulties, but we still, we never have to kind of uh, uh, have to change the direction. We always follow the original direction uh, we planned and uh, you know, a few years ago. So for today's meeting, I didn't prepare any PowerPoint. And actually, uh, I don't think I need any PowerPoint because everything I'm going to show today is actually going to be real. Uh, it's going to be, it's just the real product in our real website. So today I'm going to just show around uh, the website, those features, those stuff we have built on the website. And most of the talks in the, this developer conference, where there's very few slides. It's all about the real demo, the real code, real code, real demo, real applications. So let's start with Open Chain Access Protocol. If you come to our website, and under the platform, you will see different components that we have provided. So the open chain access protocol itself is a pretty simple concept because there's so many different blockchains. Each of the blockchain has their own protocols. Um, so if you're, you are developers, if you need to develop with different blockchains, you have to switch protocols. That's pretty boring, right? So it's a very common pattern that we develop an abstract layer. So this abstract layer is common. Because most of blockchain, even though you have different, uh, you have difference between each of, of each of them, they still have something in common. So we propose this open chain access, access protocol ideas, um, but we didn't just start it build from scratch immediately. Instead, we started by build the first OCAP adapter for Bitcoin and then Ethereum. So by building the OCAP implementation for Bitcoin and Ethereum, that allow us to have a deep dive into the technology and the code of the Bitcoin and Ethereum. That actually helps us, the whole team, have a better understanding of what a blockchain is supposed to look like. What is, a, what, is, what is the best framework and the API 
that is going to be developer friendly. So actually, OCAP protocol is the first product that we released. Uh, so in year 2018, uh, the June, which is almost exactly two years ago, uh, half a year after we released the white paper and that video we just, I just showed, we have the first ever version, workable version, production um, version of the OCAP that is supporting the Bitcoin. And then a few months later, we supported Ethereum. Today, OCAP protocol is a foundation layers of all, block, all our block, blockchain products. And the, in the OCAP, we use GraphQL as a standard query language and RPC interface uh, for it. So we, did, we didn't reinvent the wheel. Uh, so as a developer, you don't need to learn a new language, learn a new RPC method, learn the learn new query language to be able to talk to the blockchain. Instead, you just use the industry standard GraphQL. The flexibility of the OCAP make it really possible to open a lot of possibilities. Recently, we worked with Amazon's QLDB, which is Amazon's quantum ledger um, solutions. Uh, so the, we implement a QLDB adapters for the OCAP, so that makes it possible to any prop R block component that speak the OCAP protocol now works with QLDB. So we are working closely with Amazon. So in this app, uh, in this DevCon, we invited uh, a product manager, Lana, from the Amazon AWS QLDB team to give a deliver, deliver a talk about what is QODB, what's the benefit of QODB, and I will also demo how to use the RPLOS platform to support the QODB in applications, which is pretty exciting. The other thing that we worked a lot is called a blocklet. If you click blocklet, you will see this, this page. So we have already built a bunch of those blocklets and those blocklets, some of them, they're ready to use. We call it a DApps type of blocklet. That basically means you can just install this blocklet and uh, it's, a, it's a full application. It immediately works out of the box. And there's a, another few type of the blocklet we call the starters. So what starter is, is basically a scaffold for your new applications. You can install the starters and then you just uh, have a scaffold of the blockchain applications. And then you can just add in your own business logic, add in your own, customize your user interface, and then that makes it really fast to build a new blockchain applications. So the blocklet, we released the blocklet uh, last September, and uh, recently we just released a very important product called the ABT node. So the ABT node is basically a containers, a manager of those blocklets. It make you install, run, and hosting, manage all those blocklets so much easier. I'm going to have a session specifically talking about the ABT node and how the ABT node changes the diagram, changes the way uh, for, uh, for you to develop and implement and also develop uh, for the blockchain applications. And uh, so I will address a lot more in that session. But blocklet, it is something that we vision, envisioned before, and now this is a reality. This is something you can use today. You can immediately try and use and develop today. And let's cover a little bit about the token swap. So in year 17, Ethereum was red hot. It's very popular. But there's a problem on Ethereum. It's a, it's a slow, it's a very low TPS and the gas fee is high, and uh, a little, uh, a very a popular application may block the transactions on Ethereum. So at that moment, a lot of other blockchain innovations are coming out. Most of them are thinking, hey, since Ethereum is slow, let's rebuild, let's build another thing, that is, let's build a better Ethereum, let's, or let's build something that replaces Ethereum. But we at our block, we think differently. So what we do is we think, if we're going to kind of rebuild the Ethereum, probably we're going to fix a few problems that Ethereum made today. 
but we might fall into the problem that Ethereum already solved. And besides, Ethereum is already have an ecosystem. So why not, why not take advantage of the existing ecosystem and play well with different ecosystem, right? So our idea of our blog is building something that can compatible with Ethereum and can work with each other. One important thing is Ethereum was really famous for its token. For example, the, for the ERC20, ERC721 tokens, they're very popular. And a lot of exchange, a lot of DeFi is already supported really well. Um, if you just create a new blockchain, and not only the developer need to redesign or redevelop a lot of things, but also all those kind of existing services might not work well. So what we do is we build this kind of one point one by one mapping token mapping system. So we have this kind of token swap service that is released last December, and uh, the token swap service is up and running. So with this token swap service. You can have a token that is run on the Artblox blockchain and immediately transfer to the Ethereum blockchain and the Ethereum blockchain to our blockchain back and forth as many times as you need. But remember that when your token lives on the Ethereum, it's going to adapt well with all those kind of Ethereum ecosystem, but you might not have a good performance for you to use this token for your application. When you have the token that is running on the art block, uh, it's going to be lightning fast. It's going to take advantage of all those kind of uh, art block infrastructures to make it work. So, just for the developers, you just need to, you know, you with a token swap, you can easily have uh, the advantage of what block art block platform can provide. While you can also take advantage of the existing Ethereum ecosystem. Uh, what I can, you know, share more is. The token swap service is not just a service that we designated for our ABT tokens. Instead, it's a service that is working with our block blockchain and Ethereum. So for any uh, customers, if you develop the art block based blockchain and you want also take advantage that make your tokens that is can working on your art block backed blockchain and Ethereum, you can actually use a art block token swap service. So this token swap itself is a blockchain. That is basically say you just install the token swap blockchain, set it up, and then you're going to have the one by one token mapping for your own blockchain and for your own token with Ethereum immediately, effortlessly. So that's a beautiful part of, of the blockchain. That's also the principle of how we are our block design stuff. Other than the um, other than the OCAP protocol, BlockRat, and the one by one token swap, what else we have done? Actually, we did a lot. So when we developing and building our block, we also learn stuff. So some of them we learn is really important. We couldn't know that when we write our um, business plan and write papers, but we quickly learn and adopt it. So in the past few years, other than building um, the features I just mentioned, we also built a lot more interesting stuff. I think one of the very important part is the DID. That is a decentralized ID. Decentralized identity, if any of, uh, any of you followed uh, our blog recently, you will know, notice that. We actually talk more, a lot more about the decentralized identity, DID, even more than the blockchain. Because we believe that the decentralized ID is a critical, important technology for blockchain and for future applications. The W3C has a working group for the DID, and, it's, and uh, a, a, a quite a few companies, including Microsoft, IBM, Appledger, many, many of them, are working closely to try to develop a universal um, decentralized ID solution. Right now, the W3C DID is still in the draft mode, and our blog is actually one of the active contributors for those standards. We contributed the DID ABT for, uh, for, for W3C. If any of you are interested in that, you can basically come to um, the website from the W3C or from our blog 
to find out our, our uh, standard spec, we think W3C is the ID open up a lot of great opportunities um, for the W3C's proposal for the DID is not only the identity itself, it also has a very viable presidentials, which is open a lot of interesting applications that can be built on top of that. So in our block, we, we treat DID seriously. So actually anything, any identity in our block platform is a DID. Uh, no matter is a blockchain address, no matter is an asset ID, um, anything that lives on, on our block, which is addressable, we use the ID. We don't use any other, any, any ID is a DID in our block. So once you have a lot of the DIDs and a lot of identity, you need a place to manage it. So that's how we developed our block wallet. We call it ABD wallet. ABD wallet is the first ever decentralized identity wallet. That's the main focus is manage the decentralized identities for the users. With the DID wallet, you can actually manage multiple different user profiles, user identity there. And the DID is by design going to use a unique ID whenever you access different service, different blockchains. That is to say, uh, that is great for privacy, but it's going to create a lot of IDs for you. All those ID belongs to you. For example, if you visit a different blockchain, different, different website, a different service, uh, the DID by default will going to give you different IDs. So others cannot track you down through those IDs, right? Uh, but the problem is, since you have so many IDs, how to manage it, right? It's definitely going to, not going to easy to manage if you try to manage it that manually. Uh, remember the old days when, we, the, when the website has so many passwords? Uh, don't worry, so that's ABD Wallet design for. ABD Wallet is basically designed for you to help you to manage all those kind of key pairs, private key, public keys, key pairs, that is belongs to your DID. And, the, and better, since this is a, we call a wallet, so you can use this wallet to manage the digital asset that is related to your DID. So this digital asset not only cryptocurrencies that bind to the DID, but also those kind of tokens, those kind of fungible tokens and non-fungible tokens, and those kind of verifiable credentials. Um, probably everybody who come to our DevCon who got the ticket, you probably realize it's a little bit interesting different because you need to use the ABD wallet to claim a ticket. It's, we have two types of ticket. One is a free ticket, another is a VIP premium ticket. Each of those tickets is an NFT. The NFT lives on the chain. And each of this, this ticket is also a verifiable credential, uh, which basically is a verifiable, which is bind to the DID that is managed on your, on your wallet. We're doing this um, by let you experience the DID, the verifiable credential, and the NFT, and the wallet itself in person. That anybody who come to our website you already have your DID. You already experienced the ABD wallet. You know what I'm talking about. So because everything right now we're talking about in this uh, um, developer conference, everything is real. Everything is working. It's not just a concept. It's not something just a, a prototype. It's a working product. It's production, and you can build it right now, today. Something really interesting and important is ABD network. So we unveiled the ABD network last year. So ABD network represents our viewpoint of the future blockchain. Because in our plot, we believe in the future, the blockchain world is not going to be just one blockchain. It's not going to be just Ethereum, just Bitcoin, or just one, another blockchain. We also don't believe that the future can have so many different separated enterprise you know, own blockchain consortium chains, which is kind of world garden here and there. We don't believe that is going to be future. We believe the future of the blockchain world is going to be a world of many interconnected blockchains. Imagine that. The interconnected blockchain, that basically means you can have multiple options. Imagine, for example, a government, they need a blockchain for holding your, for managing your Visa, your passport, your certificates, right? Uh, so those blockchain might quite be, have a very quite a different 
um, requirement for a blockchain that is running by the financial institutions. Right? And uh, if you're currently using a blockchain, probably the requirement is also different. But the one common requirement is those blockchains supposed not to be world gardens. They're supposed not to be isolated Iceland. They need to be interconnected with each other. So that's what, how we design ABT network, which is has the building interconnection capability of the blockchain by, by design. So with the ABT network, um, you can build multiple different art block-based blockchains, and then you can transfer the digital asset between um, the different blockchains effortlessly, because in the prototype, we support that. If you're familiar, get familiar a little bit more about the art blocks, uh, ABT network and SDK, you will realize that DID play a very important role on the blockchain networks. And actually, it's pretty important because with the DID, um, it just makes the cross-chain communication much easier. To when we when we build the block, when we build our block, we realized um, blockchain is a relative very new technology. There's a lot of misconception and misunderstanding about the blockchain. Some of them think it's it's so powerful that it can almost become everything. It's, it's definitely the future, replace everything. Some of them think blockchain is just a scam, it's just a hype. Um, so there's made so many different kind of talks, different concepts around blockchain, and a lot of them I found, a lot of them are very confusing or misleading. So in the past few years, I found it's really important for us to try to educate our users, educate the developers. So that's actually one of the things that we have spent quite a bit of time on it. So in the past few years, we constantly publishing engineering blogs. For example, we have 50 some engineering blocks in English. We also have more in Chinese. And we also holding and attending different events. In during this event, we try to educate people. We try to kind of promote the concept of the blockchain technology itself, including this developer conference. The developer conference purpose is to showcase what we have done. And we demonstrate what we and our partner have really have, have built. Uh, for real. And we also have the workshops and education sessions to help the developers immediately on board to write the real code, to see the real code, to see the real applications. So education is really important. And in, in the past years, we also uh, uh, shared a lot of those kind of video content. Um, some of those video can, content probably vary in Chinese, and some of them are mixed with the Chinese English. But if you can understand, if you can understand a little bit, or you can bear with a little bit, kind of a uh, accent of the Chinese uh, English accent of English, you will see we have shared a lot, lot of the information about our product, about our SDK, uh, about you know about the our client user case. Uh, there's quite a few of them. And the last thing uh, is uh, we. Our team actually write a book, we author a book uh, called the blockchain, practical blockchain from the technical innovation to the business model. So this book is in Chinese. Unfortunately, this is in Chinese. So, uh, uh, so th this has been published by the Citic Press, which is one of the most uh, um, uh, publisher in China, have the, have the, have the most respected uh, uh, most respected publisher in China, and uh, uh, and this book was uh, recommended by a lot of the IT experts, including one of the fellow uh, from the uh, and the computer software expert from China. And uh, anybody who have the VIP ticket, we're going to have a signed copy of this book. And I also invite one of my friends from the Hobi University, uh, who is also an author, write many different books. And we're going to have a session in Chinese to talking about this book. Um, so if you can read Chinese and, and you have a VIP ticket, uh, just come, uh, come to uh, follow the links uh, we will be to publish later.
to claim the book with a signed copy. But since right now there's a viral situations, the book is in China, uh, so but right now I'm in Seattle, so the signed copy is going to take quite a long, right? So if you really, if you can't wait, uh, you can buy it from the JDE and from the Dundang, and the, the book is already there. Uh, it just published this month. It's really fresh. Um, so that's pretty much, right? So in the past few years, it's a really exciting journal. But just like we say, as our blog, we're just a kicking start of it. So we're, it's just a beginning. Today, we have this developer conference. We share all those tools, applications, platform, and the demos and applications created by us and of our partners. But this is just the beginning. So I wish more developers come to the conference, learn stuff that, the, that is useful for you. And if you have any questions, feel free just to reach out for us. And we're really happy to help. Thanks a lot. And enjoy our blog developer conference.